Riley here from Board Game Geek TV in Essen 2013. I'm sitting down with Hania. Hello. And you brought us from DLP Games, Citrus. Yes. <laughs> so this is a placement game where you're placing um, plantations around Finkas, which are laying here down on the board. So it's a, a kind of dilemma game because you have to build up to make uh, bigger your plantations. But when you have not enough money, you have to sell plantations as well. So it depends always what you can do. So when it's your turn, or oh, before, perhaps I will explain a little bit here the board. So um, when you start, they will place four fincas here randomly with the numbers on A, B, C, D. And furthermore, we were placing another finca here on the places where the uh, black points are mentioned. This is a start place. And here, these are the special cards. They are placed here on the spaces with the bushes. Okay? So, um, we are playing. Um, so, these are the cards for the um, plantations. We have um, five different types. So, citrus, lime, grapefruit, orange, and blood orange. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna, so people can get an idea okay. of what they look like. I'll yes. Just careful, ah, carefully move this. Here to the middle, so people can see what the, those five different types look like. Yes. Okay. So, and this is already refill, always refilled when there are three or less left. So then you put new um, fields here from the little small, small size. Okay. So um, when it's your turn, you have always two options. The first option is to buy plantations here from the board and to build them immediately so it's not allowed to stock them in front of you so we have to buy and build them or the other option is to sell plantations of course when you're starting you have no plantations to sell so you start with building new plantations okay so i will leave this each player has before him his playing board with five men on it and this is a start capital of six pesetas, okay? <laughs> a little orange token. Yes. <laughs> Everyone, every time when you're buying something, it will remove, okay? And for each card, you have to buy one peseta. So, for example, if I'm buying a complete line, because I have to buy a complete line, not only single cards. So, for instance, for this one, I have to buy for four, so it will go down up to two, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's my turn, I will buy four, for example, and then I have to look where there's a finca where I can place my new plantations. So oh. when I bought a, a, a line of plantations, I'm looking for fincas which are free or which I would like to buy, uh, to, 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 um, to, 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 uh, to build something. Um, and uh, we have special laying rules. This means I can also build a new finca here on the main road, not here on the side, okay. for first. And you have to have always a different color, like this. So for example, this is not allowed, okay? I have to build it like this, from the five different types, four different colors. When I build this, for example, I put on each of my own plantation, one of my men, so it's me. Furthermore, when I'm taking new plantations here from the board, I can, con uh, I can make bigger the plantation I already have. Okay, so it can grow in any way. Okay, so of course, also other persons can have around one finger um, plantations, and there is a score when every eight fields are occupied. Okay. So, for example, I will make this, this, and this, for example, is coming from outside, and I will put this man on it. We will count how many um, plates you have, not the plantations, but the plates. So, for example, here, yellow has one, two, three. Right. Red, Red as well. Uh, he has four, sorry, yes, four. And black has one. So red is the winner, he will get eight, eight points <laughs> and yellow five points. And Back the third again, one, nine. nothing. If they are both uh, two, um, have the same um, highest points, 
Then we'll get both the highest points. Ah, so ties are okay. friendly. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. When once it is uh, voted, you turn around the finca because also the fincas which are not completely surrounded will be voted at the end of the game. Okay, so you can see this is already voted. So this is the um, the turn to to buy and to to build. But in the case you have no more men here or you have no more money, you have to sell one plantation to get the money back. For example, I choose one, I'm red, so perhaps this one, which has the, le the less um, value for me, mm -hmm. I will take this man, I will place it here on my board, I will get the points mentioned here on the side, so this will mean four points. I don't know to show, perhaps. Or don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, four points. I will move here this, and afterwards I have enough money. And additionally, I will get for this plantation one point here on the scoring, because at the end the points are mentioned here are the uh, points. winning points. Yes. So this is an empty plantation, and someone else who is coming from another side with the same color can occupy this plantation when he has the same number of cards or more. Okay. Which be pretty easy with one. Yes. It, it's not possible. So perhaps I'm here, laying here, and then this is three, and then I could put another one here. So this is my plantation. Okay. So this is a little bit like this. You have always to do one choice to buy or to sell. If you can, if you um, have not enough money, of course, you are forced to sell something. If in any case you have bought something too much, which you cannot um, build here at the, at the fields, um, the, the, the remaining plate will be, go back here on the board, and, but you will have three minus points. Mm. Okay, so it's not so good. So this board is filled up when there are three or less plates left. And the person before doing the filling up is, uh, can, can, do, uh, can build a new, plan, a new finca on the field. And I'm guessing on one of the lettered uh, spots here? Yes, no, but only on the letters here, which ah. are mentioned with uh, black. This is also randomly uh, taken here from this stock. So for, for example, if I choose to build a new plantation, uh, finca here, this will go out. And I will uh, take a new one and no, see the letters C. Meant C so I will put it. Um, yeah. No, C is not. Uh, C's but not okay, available. But yeah. <laughs> yes, E or something. E, all right, uh, E's yes. over there. Yes. Okay. So I have always a choice of three different places to build a new um, pink up. So the end of the game is when every plates are built down here, also here from the from the back. Then you make the final score, that will mean um, that all the um, fincas, which are not completely surrounded, will, will take pounds for, for the person who has the most. And also each plantation plate you own will, make, will bring you points. Okay? And the one who has the most points is the winner. In addition, we have here, you see here, we have some special cards. This can be removed in any case when you decide to build, build for example, structure. like this way. Mm -hmm. I build it and I take this card. This can be used at any time when it's your turn. So even you can use it, you can keep it till the end and then it brings you either the points which are mentioned here or for the other cards, one extra point. Okay, so these are the po with the points, normal. I'm sure there's a description of all these two in the rules. Yes, of course, of course. Um, this one will mean that you can make a score here when there is a finca which is not completely around it, surrounded. You can place it here and now it's surrounded and you can make the score. Or with a bridge, you can overbuild here um, the rocks. rocks because normally they are um, empty so you cannot um, build over them. Um, with another one you get um, more money here on your scoring, uh, on your range here. Um, you can take another finca when it's not your turn or when it's not regular or you can take um, another card here without paying something. And we, we laid these out randomly at the yes, beginning, yes, so. but although correct. you can see what they you are can see, from the beginning. Yes. 
so you can arrange a little bit your, your way to, to, to grow up your fields. How long would a game take you? Uh, it's from two up to five person and we think about 50 up to 60 minutes. So pretty, pretty fast. Yes. And we have on the other side a board which is more comprimated for two and three persons. Ah, so so it's smaller far. and you take off some cards as well. Okay? And I forgot one thing. When there is here, for example, on this one some water, mm. you get an additional point for this card. Okay. It's okay well, for the scoring. We'll card. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, and we have sorry, we have a family family version, which means that the laying rules are not so strict. So it could be that it could be surrounded only by one color. So for families or smaller children, it's uh, easier to go into the game. Yeah. Well, Anna, thank you so much for uh, coming by our booth. And I thank wish you luck with the rest of the fair. And that was a quick overview of Citrus. Thank you.